Oil prices hitting a key milestone recently, topping $50 a barrel for the first time this year. That's good for energy companies. It isn't great news for consumers. You know, we've been enjoying lower gasoline prices. If the price is moving higher, that's not necessarily a great sign for for the entire economy. Wholesale oil prices are directly tied to how much it costs to fill up your gas tank. And when oil prices were up over $100 a barrel back in 2012, drivers were forced to pay around $4 a gallon when they were fueling up. Every dollar increase in the price of crude translates to a couple of pennies more per gallon at the pump. May not sound like much, but consumers are definitely grumbling. There are seasonal factors at play as well. This is the time of year when the refineries switch to their summer blend, demand picks up, and when demand picks up, prices go up. If you're headed to an airport this summer, shouldn't be too nervous about oil prices affecting the price of your plane ticket. Producers of energy services take a little while longer to raise their prices. That's just the way it works. So you will not see airfares spike because of what's going on currently in the oil market. Airline tickets are at the lowest prices they've been in seven years. It's very cheap to fly right now. And if you're flying overseas, you're also being able to take advantage of the strong dollar. So you're getting the bang for the buck. Gasoline industry analysts say it's important to keep things in perspective. If you're hitting the road, prices at the pump are still nearly 50 cents lower than a year ago. This summer's gas prices are expected to be the lowest they've been since 2005. So take a longer picture here and you'll see that it's a very attractive time to travel both to drive and to fly. Cheap gasoline means more cars on the road though. So start planning your summer road trip now and hit the road early. Enjoy. In New York, I'm Nicole Petalides with Fox Business.